Hello. Uh, so I'm going to carry on with uh, solving the most instructive uh, puzzles, uh, well, the most instructive combinations of January 2014. Um, uh, this is probably the last video in the series, and I'm going to put up all these uh, tactics into an ebook and that will appear in the in the notes for the video. So here it's Black's turn. Um, he's got uh, well two extra. Well, he's got two pieces for the rook, and there's some weakness around the black, the white king. Um, what is the most accurate way for Black to wrap it up? I think it's it's got to be knight to d2, forking things, and um, uh, well, naturally this was played. Um, and the idea is that if this, then then this rook remains without defense and black black wins. I'm gonna annotate this. Um, Alright, um, what's going on here? So, the white king is pretty exposed again. Um, but the best way to wrap it up. I'm wondering if possibly bishop c2 could do something. Possibly rook c2 might even do something. Um, rook c1 probably not. Um, so I think the idea is to separate, uh, you know, prevent the rook from defending this this knight and somehow interfere with that by placing something on c2 um, which one is more forcing to that's a good question as well I'd say it's got to be bishop c2 because uh, that comes with check and it hits b3 so let's see if that's what he played and if I'm wrong I'm wrong oh that's actually the move that was played um, so he has to take, I imagine. Takes, takes. We sacrificed the piece, but we're getting it back immediately, and now this king is so exposed that there's no defense for him. So he went to d3, but I mean, now probably anything goes. Taking on b3 would be um, just fine. Um, so yeah, I was thinking of taking here. That's that's fine in in the game. In the game, he played rook to c8. I'm looking at my notes now, and that that wins even quicker. Just bring an extra piece into the attack. That always works. All right. Um, next one. Well, here again, the white king is very exposed, um, but white threatens to. Well, he doesn't even threaten to take anything. Um, so, what is the quickest way to wrap up this? to surround this king. I imagine it's got to be something about pawn to b5 uh, just to completely kill him off. Um, is there anything else that could be tried? Is there any queen sack or some kind of idea like that? Stick something on b3 so that the king is completely boxed, but I can't really think of anything. I noticed that if I go queen to c6 he just goes b5 and nothing's really accomplished that way. So it's probably good to lure him out to to b5. So I can't see why it's not b5, and it was b5. Looking in my cheat sheet. Um, so in the game, I mean, if he takes, if he takes like this, then it's the easiest way. One easy way might be queen to b7 check, force him to retreat, and it it, it really comes down to a mate here, a mate like this. So he can't really take on b5. He's got only one extra square, so he went to a5 in the game. Mm, and now bishop d8 will probably wrap it up just the same way, just the same way. Um, that was actually played in the game and he went to b5 and resigned 
Um, is it bishop d7 mate? Yeah. Um, the mate is. Sorry. Um, the mate of bishop d7 is like this. What is the mate now? Bishop e7 mate. So it's a little tricky. The king goes back and forth and we get two bishops, but b5 does ensure that he gets mated. We just have to not let him out. And probably the last position. Black to move here. Well, again, uh, we're looking at the concept of how many attackers are there against this white king. One, two, three, four, five. Five attackers. I mean, we gotta come up with something here. So it might be knight to g4, it might be queen to e5, it might be something a little bit more sacrificial, such as knight to e2. Let's see if I can figure this out. I mean, knight to f3 is very forcing in that, you know, he's gotta take or else his queen gets lost. So, say he takes, he takes with a pawn, I take with a pawn. Sorry, I take his pawn. Um, let me see, there, 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 just trying to visualize this. Threatening on h2, the rook can't go, so uh, it's not an easy position. He has to go f4, so I have at least a perpetual check there, but then I can come in with the knight and that's over. So so I, I think the move has to be knight to f3, let's see. That's what he played, yeah, knight to f3 has to take, I take on h3, just as I had anticipated, and I don't see any other way to continue besides f4, f4, knight g4, yeah, that's all happened in the game, and then in the game he played a really desperate check, and white resigned, so it's a black one here with this mm, nice combination, knight to f3, um, just the the way to find moves like this is to look for the most forcing moves um, to observe that we have uh, you know the huge superiority in the number of forces attacking the opponent and just um, make sure he's got no ways out. Granted, uh, Black had an extra piece to begin <laughs> with in this um, in this position, so that also helps quite a bit. But still, right? Uh, thanks for watching.